In this lesson, we'll learn how to paint details, including the background. I did mention earlier that we might not need any render passes, but let's just have it. Anyways, you know, why not? I'm going to select GUI and Diffuse. And add. Now when you finish render, these will be in your path directory folder. Okay. So here they are. This is RGI and diffuse. And I added a plane to get a ground shadow. And this is my latest render. Uh added black background so you guys can see it better. Obviously I duplicated more buildings and added more plants in there. Okay. This is what I quickly did because uh, I needed something to work with. And let's go over what I did here quickly. So I just put a bunch of photos in there and try to see what works and what doesn't. Because I needed a, a visual presentation of what my funnel is going to look like. So I like this bottom area. Try different clouds that might go with it. Uh, keeping parts that I like and erase parts that I don't really need. And here, this is our shadow render. So I put it as a multiply and lower the opacity. And this is our render. Pushed white. And desaturated. About negative 20. And use curve to get more contrast. Okay, so that's where I am now. And let's put the background mountain in. So I'm going to use this photo. Scale it down so it fits to our canvas. Okay, and place it underneath our building. Magic wand to select. And I'm going to delete this sky. Okay. Uh, layer placement becomes really important. You should know where you're placing it. So you can always go back to it when you want to tweak it. Okay. Let's change the mountain shape a little bit. Just made a new layer. Okay, I'm going to just paint on it. Okay. So I, I dropped the color from the mountain and I'm just trying to make it more interesting shape. Okay. Uh, just to show you guys another trick, uh, instead of painting, you can just copy parts and duplicate it and place it somewhere else like so. Okay. Okay. 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a new layer. And link it to the, the painted layer. And, you know, by dropping the sky color. And here I, I dropped the color from the mountain and just painting it. So when I do this, I try to keep my opacity low as possible. Okay, I'm not changing too much because I kind of like what we have already. It's just a minor change. Okay. Let's add a foreground element. I'm going to bring this grass photo to the right bottom corner, like so, and start erasing it. Okay, scale down. So grass doesn't feel too big. Okay, let's also brighten it a little bit because it's a little too dark. Okay. I am going to bring another grass photo. So the problem with our CG plants right now is that they're too consistent. It's because I use some uh, same plants over and over again. I just rotated them. So I'm using the actual grass to give more variation. Uh, looks like the screen works pretty good. Erasing the parts that I don't really need. Okay. Let's brighten it a little bit. Let's duplicate this and put it next to each other. Uh, we should do this to our uh, to our other plants too, but let's just move on. Okay, uh, so here this is uh, what I'm going to use as a building texture. Put it on overlay, and then scaling it so it fits to our building better. So wh what I could have done is texture in Maya by unwrapping UVs but you can always do this on Photoshop like how I'm doing okay lowering the opacity so it doesn't stand out too much okay duplicate the same texture and put it somewhere else okay This method needs a lot of cleaning, but you can always get away with it by cleaning some parts. Uh, 
uh, usually erase like the corners where um, the texture continues. So this is it for this lesson and uh, the next lesson let's add some dramatic shadows and atmospheres to our painting.